Yo, 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 Hendo here from Average Youth Slow Pitch. Today, we're bringing you the brand new 2024 Axe USA models. This one is gonna be your Scorch. This is a 12.75 inch barrel end load model. And this one's actually gonna be a dual stamp. So USA and ASA stamped 13 inch end loaded model. They do have the orange bat that looks like this. That's gonna be your balanced one. And then there's a slightly different color paint scheme on this one for the balanced version. But we're gonna go with the end load versions today. We're gonna go ahead and start with the Scorch, we'll put 52s on it, probably 40 to 50 swings with this one, and then another 30 to 40 swings with 52s on the dual stamp. We'll swap over to USSA balls. It'll be a mix of the new Evil BP Rockets as well as some Dudley Thunder ZN, uh, Dudley Thunder ZN Pro M's, the Razo Pro M's, and then Thunder or ZN Hardcores as well. So once we're done with that, we'll then go over to the Velo, both of them with 52s, and then again swap over to USSA, get you a final reading here on the dual stamp. Once we're done with that, we'll get you a final compression here on the dual stamp. I'll go ahead and compression the USA one as well, as you saw there in the, or you'll see here in the beginning, we tested it as well. However, we will then run the numbers for you on the conversion rate so you understand how that translates to USA ASA since we have a USA tester. So let's go ahead, get our swings on this. We'll come back with that compression and then get to our final thoughts. All right, real quick before we throw some swings here on our two axes, because this one is obviously the dual stamp model, we are gonna go ahead and test it here so we at least have a number for the USSA purposes and really I guess one you can use for the ASA purposes as well that's it at zero so as far as USSA is concerned it's 270 uh, pretty much so a little bit higher than what we saw with our actual just USSA only models uh, and since we're testing them anyways let's go ahead and throw the USA one on there and then I'll do the conversion later so that you have the numbers here on the video and then at the end we'll talk about how that matters for USA purposes and then we can determine if you should buy the USA only model or if you can just save some money and buy a dual stamp so you have it for both associations and the USA models testing pretty much 270 265 so they're pretty much right on par with each other we'll go ahead swing them both see how they perform once we get the 52 swings on the USA only model and then the dual stamp, we'll swap over to USSA balls with the dual stamp. Sounds good. Yeah. There you go. That's gotta be the sweet spot there. That's the sweet spot there. That one felt good too. Uh, like 20, you said. About 20 swings in, you're figuring the handle out. Yeah. It took a little while for me to figure it out, but. Get in on that one. All right, let's see what the USA Axe is all about. I don't think we mentioned the intro, but at the time that we were setting up out here, it was about 50, 51 degrees. We're expecting to be between 55 and 60 by the time we're done. We don't plan to be out here too long today. We don't actually have the field that long. Um, so we'll get the swings on this one like we talked about. We'll have Junior come back up, dual stamp swings. I'll get my dual stamp swings and we'll veal everything for you. But hopefully by the end of this, we can get Junior comfortable with the ax handle now that he's making his debut with these ax bats. Yeah, so we're like five swings in for me at least. I mean, obviously about from him, about 30 swings in, but you can definitely tell where the sweet spot is when you catch it. Sound change, different change, on, or completely different change on your hands. From listening to his swings and then my first five, seems like it's a little hard to find the sweet spot right now. It's pretty normal centered up on the bat, but obviously I'll keep throwing swings on it, see if it's just kind of getting used to it. For me, he swung plenty of the axes, so the handle's not the limiting factor here. We'll figure that one out, but the first thing I do notice really about it as well is the barrel feels a little bit stiffer than the USSA models, which is fine, but it does also have like more feel like it needs to open up versus the USSA models, which from swing number one, felt like you were swinging a bat that had hundreds of swings on it. So we'll keep it going, see where it's at. Again, this is a mix of the ZN uh, Hikons USA balls and then those 52s from Evil as well.
Yeah, that was more towards the end. You can hear the sound difference there, but it traveled pretty well. I mean, it doesn't hurt your hands by any means. But I'm there it is. Yeah. That get, ball just, difference, yeah, just like the axes, the fifth, the, or just like, sorry, the UAAA axes. When you catch that sweet spot, it's a, it's a whole different game. This one's not as forgiving so far as the UAAA ones. But as we saw there at that line drive, I mean, that ball got easy at 340. So. <coughs> yeah. That ball didn't even sound like it was hit that great, and it went way out there. Yeah, that was a different sound than the normal sweet yeah, spot. I think I caught it a little bit high at the sweet spot, but. Yeah, so between the last 10 swings, whatever, that is the sweet spot for sure. Like that's the only one of all of them you could feel the way it came off on there. So it definitely has a smaller, like sweet, sweet spot as far as we're getting that max exit velo. Cause I mean, that ball's off our, just left of our 390 fence on a line. And it's somewhere centered up pretty good. The rest of it has still been forgiving, right? We're seeing home runs at 340 to the track, whatever it might be. But hopefully we'll see that sweet spot open up more because that's the kind of performance you want there on that last swing versus what we've seen on like the previous, well, 40 swings we are in so far. Yeah, last couple made it seem like it's a little easier to find the sweet spot. So hopefully it's opening up a little bit. So far, I mean, it feels pretty good. It's not that wow factor bat straight out of the wrapper like maybe the UAAA ones were. But again, some of these are gonna need breaking period. We will go ahead Swap over to the dual stamp bat and get swings with both UAAA balls and USA balls on that one. And then we'll come back velo this guy as well as the dual stamp and kind of get you final thoughts from there. All right, since Junior went first there with the USA, he's been gracious enough to let me go first here with the dual stamp. So we're going to start out with the USA balls. We'll get about 20, 25 swings for myself, followed by 20, 25 for Junior. And then we'll swap over to the UAAA balls. And again, 20, 25 each of those as well. So. By the time we get done, this one will have about 100 swings versus the USA only is going to have about 75. Uh, but really, obviously, we need to see how this handles on both types of balls. Okay, well, first swing in there, as we saw, that ball just jumped out of here. But first thing I noticed from just swinging that USA bat is this barrel feels a whole lot more like the UAAA barrels versus the USA barrel itself was a little stiffer, ball didn't really jump off quite as well. So maybe that was a fluke there. We're gonna keep going obviously, but immediately noticed a difference between the dual stamp and the USA one. Yeah, it sounded like a U-trip bat right off the bat. I mean, it sounds like a U-trip bat. The second swing's middle of the trees there in left center, which is putting us at, I believe it's 360-ish to that fence, plus up high, I mean, for being, Brand, brand new. Those are the evil BPs, which can be a little bit softer at times. That ball's flying off this barrel. <laughs> Top of the trees. <laughs> at this point, I just want to see how long I can keep the streak alive. See, that's why you never talk about streaks. We had three home runs in a row, and I talked about it. Now it's a striking double. But still, I, the difference between the two barrels is wild. And I get it's dual stamp, but this thing's performing great. I mean, that's not even, that's not even trying to necessarily hit home run. That's, trying, that's a line drive. Yeah. And it doesn't matter ball either. It's been half the home runs have been 52 yeah. evils and the other half have been the ZN so USA balls. I, I, I... Yeah, and it's also already super forgiving. That was towards the end. I could feel it kind of on the hand sound changed a little bit and we one hopped the deepest part of the ballpark. So if you're looking for a USA bat, 
Snow doesn't have to be USA stamped only. It can be USA and USA, which is seeming like this is going to be, out of the wrapper, one of the better USA ones we've swung right there with the monsters that we've swung, honestly. Well, we'll do a couple more USA balls at this point. I mean, I think we've established the point that it crushes these balls, so we'll see what the veal looks like with it. And now got out. So, yeah, insane performance for the USA balls. Honestly, now that I'm feeling a little bit looser out here, uh, I've been dealing with kind of the back being a little messed up. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the USA bat real quick just for five swings. Swing feels pretty good right now. And just see again, because I'm saying this one so far is blowing that one out of the water. So let's go ahead, swap back for just like five swings, see where it's at right now, and then we'll have Junior come in and take his swings with the dual stamp. Yeah, see, there's that sound again. You know? Yeah, so again, it still carries good. Yeah. It's just, it's not that one. I mean, the balls are actually mashed. <laughs> Two more. See, I'm starting to think that for that particular bat, maybe it's just the sound. I've okay, that's better. So, so yeah, I mean, still between the two of them, that dual stamp is definitely feels a lot better. It just feels like a bat that's completely opened up, similar to the usual say ones. This one is definitely getting better it's opening up for sure just needed some swings so by the time we get around we get another 40 ish swings between the two of us or 30 swings for velo i think we'll see it's going to get better and better but just know if you want something kind of out of the wrapper you can just swing it's going to be that dual stamp this one definitely needs swings when you catch the sweet spot as you just saw there the ball definitely goes it's just not overly forgiving right now which is completely different from that dual stamp so let's let junior swing the duel we'll come back velo everything and then kind of get you some final thoughts Like, I would... I mean, I was... Oh, missed it just a little bit, but forgiveness. Forgiveness, forgiveness. But see, forgiveness... Nice. Small. All in all, big difference, man. Big difference. Real, real significant difference right off the right off the bat. Hey, I'm starting to warm up to this hax handle. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm switching it right away, but when you get a couple of swings under your belt, it, it does feel good, but it does take some getting used to. Yeah, I think if you're somebody who's never swung the hax flares, before you make the decision to buy one, you've got to determine, do I have time to BP and get used to it? I do think you need to BP it plenty yeah. to really get as comfortable with that so you can perform the same you do with a normal one. So. You missed that one. That one's great. <laughs> Yeah, that one felt great. Stay on the line and feel good. Yep. Woo. Felt good. All right, Junior made this thing look great for Utrecht Will Say Boss, so I'm gonna try it out. We'll finish up some swings there, and then we'll, like we said, come back, go back to the USA bat, Velo USA balls, ASA balls. Same with this one, USA ASA balls, and then we'll finish with Utrecht balls. This, for me, this might feel better than the U triple one for these balls, 
simply because the softer barrel at times felt like you weren't getting the feedback you necessarily wanted. Don't get me wrong, performance was out, out of this world. And we'll see when we velo. But like that last swing felt great and I knew exactly where I caught on the barrel because of the stiffness. But that wasn't off the sweet spot. That was higher up on the barrel. All arms. All right, I think we've seen all we need to with the performance on this bat with the U triple save balls. It feels like it's performing distance, all that kind of stuff, pretty much just as well or identically to that U triple say axe that we swung. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna swap over, we're gonna velo. Like we said, we'll start with USA ASA balls first, and then we'll swap over and we'll get our U trip balls for the velo portion of it. But I'm excited to see what this thing puts out there. From the feel, I will. I do imagine it's gonna be slightly below that 111 mark that we saw with the U triple say. But I'm telling you, if I can get 108, 109, just a very small drop off on this one, the way it feels to me, it feels better overall on the hands, the actual feel off the barrel. Plus, again, you have a bat now that you can swing an ASA or USA if you ever play it. And then based on what we go see on the exit velo there for USA, is going to determine where this ranks up there. But straight out of the wrapper, this feels every bit as good as the M5, M2 monsters I've swung primarily uh, and pretty much better than any other, other USA bats we've swung so far. 96 miles per hour. 100 miles per hour. 103 miles per hour. 96 miles per hour. 98 miles per hour. Yeah, so the scorch has definitely opened up a little bit. Again, between me and Junior, we've got about another 20 swings, maybe 30 swings below on this one. So we'll talk about more in the final thoughts, but it's performing great. I mean, as far as A's B, a lot kind of stuff goes. We'll go ahead and switch to the dual stamp, see where that's at. 104 miles per hour. 104 miles per hour. 99 miles per hour. 102 miles per hour. Another one? All right, now that we've seen how this performs with the USA balls, let's finish up here. We're gonna go ahead and throw some swings. Like we talked about the U triple say balls, but so far this bat, I don't know how they do it. I don't, again, not a bat engineer or anything like that, but for it to be dual stamped, for it to perform that well on both balls, uh, it's pretty shocking. I don't quite understand the uh, construction behind it, how that works, but this is a great bat so far. And so all we're waiting on now is to see what this U triple say exit bureau does for us. 105 miles per hour. 101 miles per hour. 108 miles per hour. 104 miles per hour. 105 miles per hour. 106 miles per hour. 110 miles per hour. 101 miles per hour. Jeez. Oh my. Yeah. 101. 104 miles per hour. 101. All right, cool. As I mentioned, Junior's first time swinging these axe handles, so I figure great opportunity to kind of talk about the handle, what he thought about it, how it performed, how it relates to, he uses pyramid grips, things like that. Just for anyone who's been thinking about picking up an ax for the first time, kind of worried about, hey, can I get used to this handle? Is it easy to get used to all that kind of stuff? So kind of with that being said, first off, just give your overall thoughts on the ax handle, how, how it was for trying to like get used to it. Well, it definitely did take some getting used to it. I mean, I my initial thought was that maybe somebody who cuts the ball a lot would be a, might be a good option. But I found for me personally that I missed the ball 
more under as I tried to cut it more. I just kept missing under. It's not a knock on the grip. It definitely takes getting used to. The bats are great. The bats are hot. The, the ball flies off of them. You get a lot of forgiveness. I, I didn't get to swing some of the other, you know, smaller barrel configurations, the 12 inches. and But the ones that we're swinging here, very forgiving, especially the dual stat model. Um, I haven't got a chance to swing the U-Trip only models, but they seem to be very, very good. For me personally, it took about 50, 60 swings before I started to get used to it, before I started to kind of square up the ball a little bit better, find that, find that sweet spot a lot more consistently. I do like them, but they do take some getting used to. Would you be comfortable enough with that to take this, let's say you're going to your next big tournament, traveling, wherever, would you swing the axe yet, or do you feel like you still need more swings to be like, I feel comfortable enough to go swing it in like a tournament well here's the thing like i've only had those first initial swings my recommendation is if you are gonna pick this up today say you can go down and find one today i would i would definitely get a lot more than 50 60 swings if you're planning on going and doing excellent in a tournament the bat's gonna perform i mean the bat is going to perform but you have to get comfortable with it because it's not just gonna be all right i bought it today tomorrow I'll swing it in my opinion that one was pretty much game ready so they are game ready but it doesn't mean that your hands are gonna feel game ready because for me it took some getting used to again we appreciate you junior always obviously being out here you've seen them on here a whole bunch so want to give you kind of quick insight on how the axe handle feels to somebody who hasn't swung one before and as we talked about we'll go into the final thoughts give you kind of the rest of the rundown all right now that we're swings and velo test complete here with our 2024 axes we're gonna go ahead first throw the dual stamp on here Again, kind of crazy how well this thing performed for having association stamps for both. If I remember correctly, we were right around 275 with this one when we started. Let it sit at zero. And we're sitting just over 240, maybe 245. So kind of to be expected. We also just did get done swinging it. So that always plays a slight part in lowering it just a little bit and not letting the barrel kind of cool down. But we're on a time crunch here on this field. So we wanted to kind of get in and out of here for you. And then again, I guess I will run the conversion for you and post it here on the screen as we do this for the USA bat. But on this one, dial the zero. And this one came down exactly the same point. So on the UCCC scale, again, that's 240 to 245. We'll run the numbers for you. You'll see that on the screen now. And that's how it plays out there for USA. All right, we're swings complete, velo and compression here with our Axe Inferno dual stamp and our Axe Scorch USA model. And we'll try to get this outro done here real quick. As you can see, welcome to New Mexico where it can be beautiful for the first hour, hour and a half of the day. And then we're gonna have winds gusting up to 40 the rest of the day. So hopefully this wind won't mess with us too much. But all in all, talking about the Scorch first, <clears throat> straight out of the wrapper, it felt pretty good. The sweet spot was definitely very, very good when you caught it regardless of which ball we were using. Again, those 52s and the Thunders we found performed pretty identically, so not a huge concern there. However, in the beginning, it definitely was stiffer and it felt like what a new and wrapper bat normally feels like as far as needing to be opened up. Not a lot of forgiveness outside of that sweet spot area. And it probably took 60 to 70 swings to truly feel like it had opened up and that started to really expand. By the time we got to the end of the kind of the exit velo portion, I felt like consistency was there. You did see a little bit drop off here and there on a couple of the swings from the exit below, and that was those kind of missed spots there as well. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind. As far as the axe handles go, if you haven't seen the previous ones, just know this flared handle is something to kind of get used to. So if you haven't swung these before, keep that in mind. Now on the dual stamp, honestly, I, I still, I'm not a bad engineer by any means. I don't understand the science behind how the whole USSA, USA stamped bat works, passing for both compressions, all that kind of stuff. But as you saw with the final compression, it's still passing for USSA right at like 245. Again, we had put all those swings on it and then tested it. So we didn't really give it the normal uh, half hour, hour that we give it to let it cool down, sometimes longer. When we're out here, we normally have a few more bats, so we'll throw them off in the shade, let them cool down. So there's a chance it's a little bit higher, close to that 250 mark. But either way, it's still passing. With how hot it was straight out of the wrapper with both ASA and uh, you triple say balls it needs absolutely no bp swing so if you're somebody who hasn't swung the axe handles you want to pick a bat up and be able to kind of game it have something hot as can be this dual stamp if you're somebody who plays both associations is 100 percent kind of the way to go the only thing i would concern myself with is if you need all those bp swings to really get comfortable with the axe handle 
be careful dropping that compression too low. So make sure you're using 52s to get used to it and don't come out here and do what we did towards the end and now use game tight balls to break it in because you will drop that compression down. But this thing felt every bit as good. To me, I like that the barrel felt a little bit stiffer. So I like this one a little bit better personally than the UCCA models. But any of those are gonna be a perfectly good bat for UCCA. They'll perform right there with the top bats. Again, you just have to get used to that ax handle. So. Uh, Something else that was kind of unique about this one versus the other ones is on our UCCA one, and even here on the Scorch, we had webbing kind of early on here. We had webbing early on on our 12 inch and our 13 inch UCCA models. This one, we're 100 plus swings in, and I can't see a single web yet. I mean, the black paint, we could see it in the other UCCA models, but there doesn't seem to be a single durability issue here. Again, we started around 50 degrees, bats ball stayed inside last night. We're ending now at about 60, feels a little bit colder with this wind, but this bat just, absolutely exceeded my expectations for that. So if you're somebody who has a chance to play the occasional U-Trip, but you mostly play USA, or play the occasional USA ASA and you only play U-Trip, and you don't wanna buy multiple bats and you want something that's gonna be top of the line, this is gonna compete with the top bat in either association. So something to keep in mind, these are still available. If you wanna grab either of these, two options. One, probably the easiest option, head over to headbangersports.com, add them to your cart, add code ADS at checkout, and you'll get a nice discount on either one, both of them, however you wanna do that or you can head over to axbats.com. They've got some left in stock as well over there. I don't have a code for you over there, so you'll have to reach out so you can't find an ax rep that can get you squared away. If you wanna make that even easier, reach out to us. You can go down in the description of the video, our link tree, that's contact info, our website, all our social medias, however you wanna get a hold of us, we can get you in touch with an ax rep and they can give you their code, assuming the bat you want is out of stock over there at Headbangers. If there's anything else you might want, some matching batting gloves from Bruce Bolt, something like that to go along with these. You need some comfortable apparel. You might've seen I was wearing this short or the sleeveless hoodie from Bruce Bolt. I do this because I've been having uh, some back issues lately and so it helps keep uh, my back warm kind of between swings throughout. Uh, and so I really like it, but you can go over to Bruce Bolt, grab these again down in the description of the video. Our link tree will get you the link directly over there. ADS35 with Bruce Bolt will get you kind of squared away there. Anything else you may need, again, in the description, reach out to us. As always, we're happy to uh, help you out with any advice, opinions you might need. If you need help ordering, if there's something we can't get you, then down there in that link tree and you need, you want to pick that up, let us know. We'll get you in touch with the right person and ensure you kind of get squared away with the best pricing, fastest shipping. So as always, we appreciate you checking out the video. We appreciate the support for the channel. Keep your eyes peeled. We got plenty more videos coming up soon and we're gonna actually add in some new stuff here in the near future. So thanks again. Have a great day.